Canelo Alvarez's reign as undisputed super middleweight champion is on the brink of ending, with International Boxing Federation IBF, rules separating the sport's most popular fighter from one of his four 168-pound belts. According to multiple boxing sources who spoke to Boxing Scene Tuesday, Alvarez, 61-22, 39 Kos, intends to relinquish his IBF belt rather than participate in an ordered June 6 purse bid at IBF offices in New Jersey for a fight against that sanctioning body's mandatory contender, little-known William Skull of Cuba, 22-0, 9 Kos. The IBF is confident in its position that Alvarez, 33, is now due to confront their mandatory challenger next. Alvarez has stood as the undisputed 168-pound champion since November 6, 2021, when he stopped then IBF champion Caleb Plant in the 11th round. The four sanctioning bodies take turns presenting their mandatory to the undisputed king, and Alvarez has successfully defended his position a record four times, most recently claiming an unanimous decision triumph over Mexican countryman Mungia on May 4 in Las Vegas. While WBA President Gilberto Mendoza has claimed his mandatory contender, Brooklyn's Edgar Berlanga is next in line, IBF President Daryl Peoples was set Monday to clarify the matter and assert his position with Mendoza. Alvarez manager and trainer, Eddie Reynoso, did not immediately return messages left him by Boxing Scene Tuesday. By refusing to participate in the ordered June 6 purse bid for a bout against Skull, Alvarez vacates the title. That turn of events leaves Skull, 31, who fought on the pre-pay-per-view portion of the Alvarez Mungvia card, to look elsewhere for a title fight opponent, and IBF rules stipulate it will be against the organization's no. Two contender, Russia's Vladimir Shishkin, 16-0, 10 Kos. Shishkin's promoter, Dmitry Salida, said a negotiating period will occur for the promoters to settle on a venue and date for the bout. Salida said he'd prefer the bout be streamed by his broadcast partner, DAZN, and said it'd even be possible for the fight to be on the same card as Alvarez Berlanga if that fight materializes on September 14. Skull's promoter, however, wants Skull Shishkin to be in Germany. It's my dream, it's easy work, Shishkin told Boxing Scene Tuesday of the title fight and how he'll fare against Skull. Skulls, nothing special. I think I can knock him out sometime after the sixth round, no problem. Boxing officials, including a promoter and matchmaker who attended an event in Copenhagen this past weekend, said the expectation is that Skull Shishkin will be negotiated in June. The interest of Skull promoter Egan Sports is to bring the fight to Germany where Skull fought eight consecutive times before his Las Vegas bout, said an official familiar with the Copenhagen discussions who spoke on the condition of anonymity because he is not authorized to speak publicly on the talks. I would expect the fight to take place in August or September after the Olympics. Salida said he requires assurances that the judges will be fair and neutral. To me, it's very special to have been with Vladimir since his 2019 arrival in the U.S. at Detroit's Kronk Gym under trainer Sugar Hill Stewart, starting on Showbox and getting here, Salida said. I believe this could lead Vladimir to the Canelo sweepstakes. The IBF, following a 2000 bribery trial of former President Robert Lee, has been a stickler for enforcing mandatory positions, and Alvarez's situation is only the latest example. When reminded that involvement in an Alvarez fight ensures far greater riches in 3% sanctioning fees than a Skull Shishkin fight in Germany, an IBF official told Boxing Scene, it is what it is. And even the Skull camp understands why Alvarez would surrender his belt as possible bouts against Berlanga in New York, unbeaten double undisputed Terence Crawford, or unbeaten former super middleweight champion David Benavides in Saudi Arabia loom. Fighting Skull He's not known in the States or anywhere really, the boxing official said, it doesn't make sense. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.